Hi, hello. How are you doing, my dear students? I hope you all are keeping great. Welcome to a very important video for all of you. That is last one month plan or strategy for your NEET 2024. And I am your Vindhya Ma'am. Will be taking up zoology in this particular channel. And let's get started with the video without wasting much time. That is last one month plan or strategy for your NEET 2024. So I have break down your one month into 20 plus 10 days. Why? Because first 20 days you have to prepare for your neat exam in quite different way and i am very sure you would have already studied most of the chapters and now it's the revision time by the way this particular video is not for the students who are starting the neat exam preparation from scratch but this is for the students who are in between that is who would have completed already few uh, you know some uh, 10 15 chapters and you're left with the rest or you are little confused about covering all the chapters so first 20 days how you have to plan your uh, neat 2024 preparation so i have uh, explained few things over here so there are total number of chapters that you have to study for your neat 2024 are 79 chapters this time yes of course you all know a uh, lot of chapters got reduced right so if you divide the 79 chapters so in a day you have to study approximately four chapters <coughs> i know it sounds little challenging right but this is possible because lot of students would be revising and completing their uh, you know the preparation in last 1 to 2 months however they would be starting in very early time but the you know proper preparation would be starting at the would be you know happening at the last few days or few months of the uh, neat exam right so you have to study four chapters every day but how it is possible that is by studying approximately every day that is studying approximately 12 hours plus 2 hours every day so what you have to do in a day so in a day minimum 12 hours you have to study and 2 hours you have to give for practicing the questions right so how you can study these 12 hours i know it sounds little unrealistic but it is possible and most of the chapter uh, most of the uh, toppers one who top in the neat exam and any other competitive exam uh, uh, in the last few days of neat exam they would be giving their 200 percentage and that is when you have to study for around 12 hours so while studying 12 hours how you can productively you know study for 12 hours that is by giving 5 minutes break for every hour yes so some students might not need any break but lot of students would require a break right between every 1 hour so by taking 5 minutes break between every 1 hour you are able to uh, you know study for around 12 hours fine if you want more breaks then you can take break for every 30 minutes so what is going to happen if you take let's say 5 minutes break after every 1 hour so imagine 5 into 12 that is around uh, 60 minutes that is around 1 hour you would be taking a break between the studies right so you know in a day there are 24 hours so 12 hours if you give for rest other things or maybe like around 10 hours if you give for rest other things like sleeping and uh, having food uh, all other stuffs and rest time you have to give for studies because this is a crucial time of your neat exam preparation so please do try this whatever i have said that is by giving 5 minutes break for every hour and if it is not possible giving break for every 30 minutes so if in case if you take 5 minutes break every 30 minutes i guess you would be spending around 2 and 1/2 hour or maybe 2 hours uh, you know you would be spending in just break only but that is still fine okay and uh after studying that is after studying each chapter let's say in in a day you have to study four chapters right so after studying each uh studying each chapters for around 30 minutes so for for around 30 minutes you have to take a test of the chapters that you have covered you you shouldn't be taking the test of the random chapters but you have to take the test of the chapters that you have studied the chapters that you have revised so how many hours you might have to give 
to complete one particular chapter that is around 3 hours. So, in 3 hours you should be able to or around 3 hours 15 minutes you should be able to complete one chapter because 3 4s are 12 right. So, that is how you can calculate. And so, after finishing every chapter, you have to give around 30 minutes to practice the questions. And what sort of a questions will be taking? The questions of NEET or uh, other competitive exams like uh, maybe the AIMS, previous year AIMS questions you can take up from the chapters that you have studied. So, this is what you have to do for around 20 days and start doing it right now and right you know just starting from today okay so by doing this you are able to finish off you are able to revise all the chapters and then what you have to do next that is what is the strategy or plan for next 10 days next 10 days is a time of giving lot of mock test so in a day try giving minimum two mock tests by the way what is mock test mock test is not just uh, answering the questions so you have to answer the question in such a way that you are literally writing the exam yes so literally you have to sit down for three and half hours or something and finish off the neat paper so around two mock tests you should be giving every day but however if in case if you haven't finished completing or revising all the chapters first give importance to uh, you know revise the remaining chapters but this should be done within five days because we will be left with only 10 days right like after finishing of 20 days you will be just left with 10 days right so that is why within five days complete all the rest of the chapters that is remaining and next but however i suggest you to finish all the chapters by 20 days itself and the last 10 days give at least two mock tests every day okay so what you should be doing after giving mock test so after every mock test you have to see what is your result okay and if in case if you are uh, you know going wrong in any of the question see the solution and analysis do the analysis so analyze your paper which is very important and make sure that every next day or every next mock test you should be increasing your uh, you know the score so imagine right now you are scoring around let's say 300 so somehow like for every next test every next mock test you should be scoring 10 marks more right so this is how you can aim around 700 marks okay so don't compete with your friends or your neighbors or anyone else but compete with yourself which is very important for neat exam and this is what i have to give the plan this is what i had to talk about what you can do in the last 30 days that is last one month hope this video is helpful and that's all for today let's meet in the next class next video until then bye